Okay, so in today's video, I am going to be showing you the fastest way to get Lith and Meso Relics in the Void and have it. So our Warframe we're going to be using is Zephyr Prime with Sprint Boost so we can do the mission faster. And we're going to be using the Comb. And the Rack the Dark Dagger. And Dorigo. So the Comb is one of my favorite weapons for capture missions because it shoots a lot of bullets and it's really it's really fun to use and it helps you not get burned out as as, as fast as you would regularly would with using other weapons the right the dark dagger we are going to be using this weapon because as soon as 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 soon as you capture the the target you are going to get like 2000 affinity and with that 2000 affinity it is it 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 is gonna give your Rack the Dark Dagger uh, a syndicate proc, and the signic and the syndicate proc is gonna give you a 10% speed boost for 30 seconds. So you use so you so you use this speed buff to to basically run faster. And we're using Zephyr Prime, and we're using Sprint Boost. So all those in conjunction will give you a huge huge speed buff we received intel people, that somebody invited enemy operations people is here. Find them and capture there them. is there is a lot of debate between zephyr prime and volt prime but but for my volt prime i pr i prefer I prefer I prefer to put all my formas into uh, in into Vault specifically for his ult for his press four to win. That is a video coming very soon. Vault Prime press four to win. That's it. But for Zephyr, I like Zephyr using it for There's speed exclusively no because because when because when you use Zephyr's third ability, this one, it gives it gives you a huge speed buff, like this. I think I like me personally I like I I like Zephyr speed buff because because it lasts longer than Volt. See Volt, like Volt with max duration it lasts it it lasts between 15 and 20 seconds but but for Volt but for Volt you actually but but for Volt you actually need to sacrifice a lot of you you need to sacrifice a lot of duration and efficiency to keep casting those super fast speed boosts and with Zephyr Prime and with Zephyr Prime her 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 third ability lasts for 56 seconds so so you so you basically so you basically only have to cast this ability once once every mission and and you're done so 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 that is why i prefer so that so that is what so that is why i prefer zephyr over volt and the wreck the dark dagger so so this is what we're gonna do as, as soon as we see the capture target we we are just gonna shoot him, right? And then, and then, and then we're gonna switch to our dagger. And when, and with our dagger on, we are gonna capture the target, and the, and and it will give us a syndicate buff. And with that syndicate buff, we are gonna get a 10-second sprint boost for 30 seconds. And and with. And with this Zephyr buff, we are going to move extremely, extremely, extremely fast. So now that I showed you how to use this, now we're going to put this in action. Now we're going straight to the target. You found the target. Capture them quickly before He's invisible, but I'm just shooting like crazy. Could he be? Where could he be? He's down. So now I switch to my dagger, right? So now I capture him. Syndicate, syndicate, syndicate proc. Mission complete. Boom. Has been to the 10%, well 10 faster sprint speed. 
for 30 seconds. So now we're gonna. So now we're just gonna run straight to extraction. My my speed boost ran out because I was okay, out because I was explaining this whole this whole trick of mine. Almost here. Maybe this will change your okay. mind. See, let's see for. So now, so now that I explained how to do this, now, now I'm gonna do the mission without, without all that yipper yapper bullshit. And now, we're going straight to business. And this is, and this is how you basically do it. Just for show. You are here to find our target and to the extraction point. Happy hunting. You found a target. Capture them quickly before they escape. Capture target has vital information that we will need to extract. We need a subject brought back alive. Mission complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction point. Well done. Fifty six seconds. Just like that. Just like that. So look. So look one. One relic in 56 seconds, so you do this 60 times an hour, 60 relics. Look at that. Boom. This, this, um, so, so, so for this mission, it is, it is basically going to be a 50% chance at Lith relics and a 50% chance at Meso relics. So now for the build. Equipment, Arsenal. Zephyr Prime. Sprint boost, speed drift, rush, and jet stream are 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 basically our speed buffs. Oh, and coaction drift too. So it's sprint boost, coaction drift, speed drift, rush, and jet stream. All all those two. All all of those five mods. Gives us faster speed. We're going to be using sure-footed. Sure so we have 60% chance to resist knockdown. And we have constitution to give us 40% knockdown recovery. So so just so just in case we get knocked down as Zephyr. There is a high chance that, that, that we can resist the, the knockout the knockdown effect completely and there's a 40% knockdown recovery and also this gives us 28% extra uh, faster ability duration and we're also using a narrow minded and prime continuity in, co in, in conjunction with that so we can have that beautiful 56 second duration for a turbulence which which gives us a speed boost pretty awesome yeah I know and then we are going to be using a arcane tempo arcane tempo gives us on critical hit 10% chance for 60% rate of fire with shotguns so this is very very good arcane guardian just a worst case scenario you, you get hit you get extra armor so you won't die 
Now for our comb build, we're gonna, we're gonna be using a Riven with just status chance and magazine capacity, but in in reality, all you really need is frail momentum, shotgun spaz. These two fire rate mods really really help you. Vigilante armament helps gives you gives you a five percent chance to enhance to 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 enhance critical hits. So yeah, because with this so with this you basically proc arcane tempo and arcane tempo gives you faster rate of fire and if you don't and if you don't have that then if if you don't have this and arcane tempo then um then just use these two these two these two makes the build really really good but this but this just makes it super super good so with these two your your build is still really really good so don't so so don't be discouraged don't be don't feel too bad about all the elitists that on their comb build or whatever okay so just get your comb and just just use shotgun spaz, scattering inferno. You don't even need a ribbon. Just just put a bunch of like status mods, like what well, prime point blank, vigilante armaments for higher status chance. If you don't, if you don't have these fancy status mods, then it's not that bad. So, yeah. Then rack the dark dagger. All all you really need is gleaming blight. Because with this mod, <coughs> so with this mod, it basically gives you. <coughs> so 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 this mod basically gives you, the the blight that gives you the syndicate proc. To give you, ten percent uh, faster sprint speed for thirty seconds. So, use that. And I'm just using a set, so whatever. Thank you very much for watching, and this is the how to farm Lith Relics, Mesa Relics, in under one minute. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Farewell.